All right, everyone, I am entering the town of Cotton Plant, Arkansas. Now, the town was founded in the early 1800s based on the lumber industry. People came here to work in lumber. But in 1846, cotton seeds were brought to the area and they flourished. And the town became a huge cotton producing area. And in 1881, the railroads came and the town really exploded because it was a way to export the lumber and the cotton. And the town was quite prosperous up until about 1950. Then everything started to decline. The town's peak population was then, in 1950. There were almost 2,000 people here. Today, there are just a little over 500. Now, the town, without question, it is dying. In the year 2000, the median age here was 40. Today it is 52. Uh, I was looking at the percentage of children that live here. In 2000, 27% of the town was 17 and under. Uh, 2020, it was down to 19%. The town is 71% black. 22% white, uh, last 7% is mixed. The median household income in this town is 16900 a year. That is $325 a week. So that's the median. That means that Half the town makes 16900 a year or more, but half the town makes less. Think about that. Half of this town makes less than 16900 a year. So as you can probably well guess, poverty is pretty bad. Uh, overall, it's 45%, but this is the astonishing number. And I'm just going to show you the graph from the U.S. Census. 90%. That is the highest I have ever seen. Of course, we saw Alligator, Mississippi not long ago. It was 73%. I thought that was the highest in the US no matter what no 90% here not sure what that was maybe a school for folks 65 and older it's not near as bad it is 13% now some of the other numbers that help tell the story an astonishing 42% of the town has a female-led head of household. Even more telling, zero. Zero percent of the town has a male head of household. Expect to see a lot of this. Old abandoned homes. Twenty-three percent of the town as a married couple as the head of household and the remaining uh, percent 35 percent has no children and let me give you a look at the fire department I'm on the main street right now the 
that is actually in pretty good shape, isn't it? Let's see, I'd passed by this ice cream shop here earlier. Let's get another look at it, huh? That has been boarded up a long time, hasn't it? Now the cost of living, I checked the index. It's pretty low. If 100 is the overall US, and that is the number 100, the cost of living in this town is 78. Mostly because of housing. Healthcare is like 78, but housing, the, uh, the number is 24%. So you're asking, what is the median home value? In this town, it is $22,000 median home value. That is the lowest I have ever seen. Think about that, that's median. So that means half the homes are worth more than 22,000. Half, fully half, are worth less. Now there's some grand old homes here. Uh, it needs work, but that's a beautiful old house there. So crime, you're probably wondering. Yeah, it's pretty high. Latest number, 4.7 incidents per 100 people. U.S. average is 2.3. Yeah, there's no question that this town is dying. The population is aging. Uh, the percentage of children that live here is declining rapidly. So the kids are growing up and moving away, leaving their parents and their grandparents. And as they die out, so will the town. I, I would say 20 years, this will be a ghost town. Or very close to it. It's almost a ghost town now. Now up here is the cotton plant water tower. Let's see if I can get you a good look at that. It is on the National Register. Built in 1935 during Roosevelt's New Deal era. The town has about 500 people. 19% of the town is school-aged children, as I told you earlier. So roughly that means about 100 kids here in this town with a 90% poverty rate. That means about 90 of those kids live in poverty. That's a crazy thought, isn't it? Ninety percent children's poverty. That's just unreal. How does that even happen? Now I'm back on Main Street. They do have a police department. Cotton Plant Police Department. It is uh, middle of November, by the way. Wednesday. Uh, 
about 9.30 in the morning. Looks like a ghost town now, doesn't it? Already. As far as I can tell, they have one store in town. This is it right here. At least there's a place for people to get some groceries. Now, let's see, I'm just gonna drive through some streets a little bit more. Now, that's a nice house. You wonder what that's worth here with a median home value of uh, 22000 You get some pretty good money for that anywhere else. Now I'm just going to show you around a bit. I am in the Arkansas Delta, which is basically flat farmland off the Mississippi, the Mississippi River. Some of the best in the U.S., but unfortunately, it just doesn't help the people in the towns anymore. Because you only need a handful of people to operate these huge farms now. And you just see this all over the uh, delta of Arkansas and Mississippi. Saw the sign on a post here in the streets. Curfew laws strictly enforced. Sunday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Friday, Saturday, 11 p.m. What do you think's going on there? Uh, maybe because of the high crime? Interesting. See the sign on the window there? Leave your drama outside. Well, can't argue with that. There's a lot of stuff going on there. I have found one church in town. First Baptist Church. It is in good shape. Uh, this is the elementary school. It is not open anymore. That school is closed. You can see the playground over there. That is a lot of stuff. I mean, an unreal amount. Wow. That's just crazy, isn't it? How do you end up with so much stuff? 
I guess over the years you just never throw anything away and this is what you get that is absolutely crazy All right, everyone, so that is the end of this video, a look at Cotton Plant, Arkansas. Next up, I'm going to look at some more Arkansas towns here in the Delta, and then after that, we're heading up to Tennessee, so I'll be looking for those.